water can be plentiful or scarce, celebrated or feared. Too much water can lead to disease and destruction, too little to poverty and hunger. Reliable access to clean water determines the health of a nation and it's vital for development. Without water, industries would grind to a halt and agriculture would fail. But water is a limited resource and one we use wastefully, overexploit and pollute. Agriculture, industry, mining and power generation taint our freshwater sources. And most polluted fresh water flows into the oceans. Nuclear techniques play an essential role in understanding, managing and protecting the Earth's water supplies. Isotopes are water's fingerprints and can be used to determine the origin, age and renewal rate of water and to locate safe drinking water. Every water molecule consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen. But all hydrogen or oxygen atoms are not the same. Some are lighter and some are heavier. These different atoms are called isotopes. When seawater evaporates, molecules with lighter isotopes rise faster. And when it rains, molecules with heavier isotopes fall down first. By measuring the differences in proportions between lighter and heavier isotopes, water's fingerprints, we can tell the exact history of water. In Bangladesh, arsenic pollution of the groundwater, the main source of drinking water for over 95% of the population, led to a major public health crisis. Isotope hydrology was used to determine the age of groundwater and find where arsenic's impact was greatest. This helped identify safe sources of drinking water. Agriculture is the largest global consumer of the world's freshwater supplies. But most of this water is used inefficiently. Excessive crop watering can damage crops, pollute groundwater and degrade the soil. When the land suffers, farm yields fall, hunger worsens and development stalls. By using nuclear and isotopic techniques adapted by scientists at the IAEA's laboratories, farmers can save water and produce better crops. In a regional project involving 19 African countries, drip irrigation systems, supported by nuclear technology, are increasing water efficiency by 50%, leading to higher crop yields and improved soil fertility. Our oceans are home to countless species of marine life, a source of food and medicine and a major generator of income for the fishing and tourism industries. But they're also a dumping ground for industrial, agricultural and human waste. The IAEA is using nuclear techniques to study, monitor and protect marine resources. In a dozen countries in the Caribbean, IAEA experts help scientists to use these technologies to study coastal pollution caused mainly by oil refineries. This project helps scientists in the region understand the causes of the problem and gives them the skills to manage marine pollution better in the future. As global demand for water grows stronger by the day, we must use all the available knowledge and tools to protect and preserve it. Governments have the know-how and skills to protect our water supplies and must act now to ensure that water continues to flow freely, 
and freshly for generations to come. <laughs>